Uh, who, uh, let's start with people who don't have kids. Any of you folks who don't have kids ever get stuck at work uh, picking up, you know, the slack for the people who do have kids who skipped out early? Yeah. yeah, that used to happen to me, but I figured out a pretty awesome solution. Um, I, I had these stickers at home, and I took the stickers and I wrote the word kids on them. And I opened up my fridge, and I put them on all my beers. <laughs> now I have kids. <laughs> so the guy who sits next to me at work, uh, he has a super cute eight-year-old daughter, and he was trying to tell me that he had to take her in for chemo treatments. <laughs> and I'll tell you what I didn't say. I wasn't like, come on, buddy, you used that excuse last week. I, I didn't have to. I was like, wish I could uh, fill in for you, ma'am, but the kids are waiting for me at home. <laughs> So he had to stay late and she died. And I'm telling you, this sticker thing is the smartest thing I've ever done. You know, I show up to work in the morning a little hungover and I might be dragging a little bit, but I can say, you know, I must have caught something from the kids. <laughs> if I show up a lot hungover, I can blame the kids for the fact that my shirt is covered in puke stains. <laughs> Someone at work already asked me what my kids' names were and I was right on it. I was like, Sam and Bud and Stella and Sierra and Foster and Sing Tao and Dos Equis. The last two are adopted. Someone else was like, so uh, your kids, do they still have their baby fat? And I was like, well, yeah, they're full-bodied. But I learned the hard way that sometimes it's just better to say that you're planning on having a few beers after work. It sounds a whole lot better than saying, man, tonight I just need to go home and pound a few kids. Thank you guys, that's it.